Hey beautiful people. Oh, you can see my hair in the back. Um, today I'm bringing you my September favorites. I have quite a lot of stuff, but oh, why am I so zoomed in? That's what I want to know. Doesn't zoom out anymore. Okay. Well, um, I have quite a bit of things, so let's just get into it. First, I have one food item. The food item is this hummus. It's the supremely spicy hummus. It's amazing. I had to throw that in there. Um, I then have my Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I've been using this almost every day to contour. I'm about to hit pan on it, and it's, like, new, like, practically new. I mean, I didn't get it that long ago. Um, wow, I'm, like, oily. I don't know what's going on. So, the Hula Bronzer... And then the blush Coralista um, by Benefit as well. These are like amazing and they're definitely favorites. Um, I then have a few hair items. I have It's a 10 with the keratin treatment in it. Um, I've been loving this. It smells so good. It works very well on my hair. It, um, bleh, it's so hot in here. It's great for, like, I don't even know. It's, like, the maintenance of keratin, increases styling and man manageability, perfect for all types of hair, replaces lost proteins, protects the natural keratin in hair, protects against heat, restores hydration, detangles, defrizzes, and adds shine, strengthens hair strength, strengthens hair structure, seals for extra silky hair. Yeah, so um, I really like this. Um, I end up using it every day and I've had it for a while and I was like being stingy about using it so I like didn't use it every day and I've seen a difference it's made to my hair so I've started using it. I also have one item that I forgot to bring over here. Ah, everything's falling down. Okay. Also, I have my Awapui. Um, it's styling um, oil. It smell. It's the most amazing smell I've ever smelled in my life. It's great. And I know I look like I have fish slips today. Wicka wicka what? Okay. Oh, I love the smell and it works so nice. You apply it to what? You can apply it to dry hair, but if you apply it to dry hair, I feel like it makes your hair look really greasy. So I apply it to my wet hair before I blow dry or let it air dry. And it just makes a world of difference. I then have the Adari hair treatment, it's oil, it, um, it's just, I don't know, it smells really good, I mix it with the Awapui, I put two, three squirts of Awapui, put it in my hair, my wet hair, and put one, like, drop of this, and put it just in the bottom parts of my hair, um, I feel like it makes a lot of difference. Um, I've been using for like the longest time this L'Oreal um, moisturizer and so it was it's pretty much gone um so I decided to get a different um a moisturizer and I heard a lot about this on YouTube so I decided to try it it's the clean and clear dual action oil free moisturizer um, and I've been liking this 
very much. Um, okay, why isn't it coming out? It, like, comes out. It's not, like, wet or anything. And then you rub it in, and it's just has like a very clean scent and just rubs in really well it's not too wet so I feel like it works real well and then my Victoria's Secret love to dream uh, whipped vanilla or what is it it's more than that it's fantasies whipped vanilla is that what it says um or it says fantasies whipped vanilla back here so it just Smells so good. I'm like obsessed. What's on my face is what I want to know. Why am I so weird? I have issues. I ain't talking to myself. No one should ever interrupt me when I'm talking to myself. Yeah, I just got back from physical therapy. My legs hurt and I'm tired and sweaty. That was beside the point. I apologize. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, I have the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Definitely a favorite. I've been using it every day. It's great, just like my D Slick. But there's, like, one difference that I've noticed. The Makeup Mist and Set by e.l.f. is more, is more wet. Like, where this is more misty this is wet so you have to like spray it from a distance like a foot and a half away whereas this you could spray it very close to your face and not feel wet this you have to be careful about um i feel like there's something oh obviously um i really been liking the maybelline uh dream bounce blush um, I have this in Candy Coral number 30, and I have it in a pink color too, but this one's my favorite. It's like, has a very cool texture. Um, very nice color. It's very blendable and buildable. I just, I like it. It kind of smells like candy too, so I really like that. And um, this hard candy baked bronzer and tiki i do not think of it as a baked bronzer i think of it as a highlight and i found that it's a complete dupe for the mac soft and gentle highlight um it's in 129 tiki it's a complete dupe for the mac um soft and gentle highlight um and just a few more items i've really been liking um, this Wet n Wild Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pixie 130. It's a, um, like, whitish brown, like, shimmer base. Um, it works so well. I love this as a base. It's kind of comparable to Bear Study, um, Max Paint Pot. So, I really been liking this. Also, the Remoludden Stay Matte face powder. I have this in Sandstorm 004. I, fe I s see the difference. It really makes your face stay matte. I mean, I didn't use it today, and so I'm oily in my T-zone, um, and I have natural oily skin. Anyways, this though, um, it does help. I went to a conference for work to San Diego Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Monday night I came back, and I used this, and it's hot and moist and kind of humid there, um, and I really felt I stayed matte. I wasn't oily in my T-zone, so it definitely works well. Um, this Revlon lipstick, it's a cream lipstick, Wink for Pink 616. It's just a pinky color. It's right there. Um, it's buildable, but fairly, sh uh, like, she, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sheer. I used it my whole conference because I didn't want to look too, like, gaudy and bright. Um, and it worked very nice, so definitely like that. 
And my last two items, um, the Jumbo Eye Pencil um, by NYX in Iced Mocha 617. Um, I've already told, talked about this multiple times. Um, it's a darker brown. I also brought this to the conference. It works so well. It's very nice. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a very nice base. Today I have um, a new makeup look that I did with my new smoked palette. Um, and I actually used this one as my base instead of using Bare Study. Because I, I didn't want it too dark because I had class today. Beside the point, um, this is really great. And my last item is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's just the big blending brush. In love with it. I use, I'm definitely getting more of these, no doubt. Um, I like using it for my Select Cover Up by MAC under eye concealer. Um, I also love using it for blending. It fits perfectly to blend it out um, with using Soft Brown by MAC or Molt by MAC. Um, as like a transition blending color, it works perfect. So yeah, um, I think that concludes my September favorites. Uh, comment below what are your September favorites, and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. 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 Right up there. And uh, keep posting. Okay. Bye, guys.